near nearer Shanghai and Zhuzhou in Wuxi province. This is Xi Junyao. It is definitely for this killer's own game. Nothing to do with the actual scores. Only to five is the target. And of course, it will get some nerves out of it. This little kill zone, it could happen again in the main match, which will happen in a while as well. Oh, what a touch there, the backhand flashing down that side. Yeah, certainly did. I think it just clipped the edge of her bat, and I think uh, it went down the line instead of across. It's all going to happen very quickly. That's the idea of the kill zone, but we just got a little taster with this warm-up of exactly what we're going to see. So different from anything else you've seen in table tennis around the world. The T2 is definitely something special from Chan Wei. As 1-3 at the moment, just two more points required. Two, and that one's gone, 2-3. Three. Three. Well, they're certainly giving us a value for money in this girls' zone, Joe. Yes, they are. They both got into the game straight away, playing very fast table tennis. And now that's 4-4-2, four, four, and this is kill zone point. Only to five. This is by way of a warm-up. It's got the crowd warmed up as well, I can tell you. They really are enjoying this one. And that's it. It's 5-2. That is the kill zone game, and uh, although it doesn't count towards this semi-final result, I tell you, we've, we've got a really, really impressive performance. Now, Xi Jun Yao and Feng Tian Wei, we have seen some cracking, cracking matches with uh, in the T2 tournament. This one was very, very special. The girl from Shanghai and Zhou and uh, Wu Xi, has really at 16 years old taken on a big big player in Feng Tianwei. She's 30 years old now, but she has won it on several several stages, including the uh, silver at the team event in the Beijing Olympics. She won a bronze medal in uh, London in 2012, world championships gold medal in Moscow in 210 with the team. And I have to say, Xi Junyao will definitely be up against it because there is a very, very big focus in the eyes of Feng Chan Wei. She will be favorite for this, having won already. Let's see how we go in the semi-final. That was the result then, Feng Chan Wei, 11-8, 11-9. 8 11 8 4 that was in round four that was the fourth month of this competition we are now in the seventh month of the competition and the finals here we go this is for real this is for money she's missed that first attempt there must be some nerves with a 16 year old surely yes i think so you know first semi-final first game on she isn't a youngster um but she's got uh, she plays excellent table tennis, takes the ball really early. Feng Tianwei will certainly be uh, pretty confident here. You can see the clock down below the graphic of the score. That is 24 minutes that we'll be using up here. If they play as many games as they can in that period of time, if it gets down below two minutes to go, they'll play that kill zone game that we've already seen. And there, Jürgen, well, we know that he is in support of Junyao, but we will see in a while. Junyao is up against it at 2 1 at the moment. Now a level at 2 all. Strategy wise, what do you see as the difference? Well, both players play the ball very fast, take it very early. They'll be moving the ball around the table, down the line, into the middle. So whoever gets in first can dominate. Okay, well, that's a good fight back, isn't it? From two love down to three two ahead. Okay, and again punishing forehand there, and she is attacking the body. That's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that's the the most difficult uh, point for a player to play. They've then got to decide whether to play a backhand or a forehand. But that was a good one there from she. Fabulous work. Oh my goodness me. That was excellent backhand again. Five points in a row. 22 minutes left in this. And I have to say, Feng Chan Wei is already, already up against it. 2-5. A much longer service, but again, the youngster Xi Jun Yao was absolutely ready for that. And you think this is 16 years old, but she's not showing any nerves at all. 
playing positive table tennis. And the cross with that confidence now oozing through from uh, Xun Yao. The opposite will happen for Chen Wei. She's had a, a mixed season, really. She's had some absolutely brilliant achievements. That one just drifts across in her first point since she lost seven of them. 3-7. Every point really does count. Okay, good service that one. Yeah, good service, a lot of backspin on there. She just making that error, not quite getting underneath the ball. Let both, both these girls don't really show much emotion. They're so concentrated. 4 7. That's a really good shot. Dummy to play it down the middle, played it out a little bit, a lean out on the backhand side. Very good. Yeah, good placement there down the line by Fung. Got to keep her opponent guessing, both players playing different parts of the table. That's important. Okay, back now to 7-6. Fong Chan Wei has fought that beautifully. Four points in a row for her. It really is a match of momentum at the moment, Jill. Yes, it is. Both players are trying to get in whenever possible off service. But they play both play very similar. Taking the ball early. Good stuff. Again from the service, opened up after the third shot. And that makes a big, big difference. 6-8 from Chan Wei back in service. What can she do here? Oh, and that was a real, real important point. Had she made it, she was in great shape for the game. Yes, I mean, she stepped round with a backhand from the forehand side to play that backhand banana shot, but... Didn't quite get a feet there in position. Oh, great work. We love that. Power, pace. And as Jorgen said at the beginning, it is very much a power and pace game that they play. Not so much spin, but certainly placement. And just look at where it landed up on that uh, racket there. Great work. Fabulous coverage as well by our crew. Well done. 9-7. Getting close and with the service. That is unbelievable backhand. Absolutely out of the top draw, that one. In the most extraordinary way possible. Just watch this corner. What a shot there for game point. 10-7. Gosh, we'll play that again a few times, I bet. That was fantastic. She's missed it. It's 11-7. And Shi Jun Yao, the girl from Wuxi province, who has very much to thank Kui Jun for spotting her early talent and bringing her through to fruition. The world junior champion and has come really to make lots of money here at the T2. I have to say, she was very impressive. After losing the first two points, I tell you, person will be very happy with her performance. Yes, he will. I mean, great play there. Placement, speed and that backhand she played down the line. Um, just before the last point was superb. That was amazing. The penultimate point was right into the corner. Here's second game, Feng Tian Wei. And just a few minutes left. This is the excitement of the T2 competition. It's all on limited time, so you cannot afford to sit around and watch any kind of point played. Got to get into it immediately. This is how it started in the first game. A lot of spin on that one. Pool. Love two. Oh, missed it. Shaked it up. Really good setting, wasn't it? Developing the point and then missed the opportunity. Yeah, she played it, it right. She played two into the, into the middle. And then she was trying to play one out to the forehand but just made that mistake it could prove costly because this is a, a repeat story 
Love two to two all. And then she went on to take seven in a row. Chan Wei will be keen to pick this one up and, and not relive what happened last game. Great setting, isn't it? Just look at that. The cavern. Oh! <laughs> From Chan Wei. Again, they're not afraid to play the ball, are they? They really are aggressive. No, they're both playing very, taking the ball very early and very hard. That's another good point. And you can hear there's a lot of Singapore fans in this, uh, in this cavern as well. She has been a heroine for Singapore for so many years. And of course, that unbelievable achievement, 2010 in Moscow, when they beat China for the the gold medal in the World Championships. I was there, I had the privilege to watch it, and Feng Tianwei was right in the middle of the action, I tell you. She's been a huge favorite of mine ever since, but uh, she's up against the wall here. 16 plays 30 in terms of their ages. And the 16 year old is showing not one iota of nerve. Even going for the big hit there. But Feng Tianwei, with that support, riding on the wave of support, has come back to 5-3. Oh, uh, no, that was a, a real miss, wasn't it? An yeah, error. right, right tactics. Um, she served and she tried to get in that third ball down the middle, but didn't quite uh, connect correctly. You can see that less than 15 minutes left, and that is now 4-6. Less than 15 minutes left, and we need to get this, uh, this game really going. I don't think they're going to be playing many more than three to four games, are they? There's not that. The com competition is too tight. Well, they're, they're having quite long rallies as, as well, so I uh, don't think they're going to get that many games in. Maybe two in real time and a killer zone. Oh, there's another edge. Beautiful shot. She really is so fast to see the opportunity. Yeah, any opportunity. She steps in and she plays that ball so hard. All right, Fung's got to make sure she keeps the ball tight, as both of them will be using that tactic. But if ever there's an opportunity, they'll be in. Halfway table, and it was too high from Fung Tianwei. A really simple kind of backhand there for Chun Yao to win the point and level up at 6 all. This is now big, big sweat time for Feng Chanwei. She needs to keep that scoreboard ticking over. Oh, and off the net and away. 6-7. Nervy moments. More so for, I th I th it sounds crazy, doesn't it? But more so for the experienced player who's expected to win. There's a lot of pressure on her. Yes, definitely. And because she's ranked a lot higher as well. So she is expected to win. Oh, that's a really good recovery shot to the backhand. Feng Chan Wei. Yes, good to see. We've got Chinese commentators here as well. It's going all around China. So there's going to be a huge, huge interest watching this matchup former Chinese player present Chinese player there's the unforced errors more for Feng Tian Wei that was a great shot under pressure that was fantastic I think she thought that was going to be a winner but uh, Feng Tian Wei was ready and she played a superb backhand into the middle that was the result of it and uh, Shun Yao in service at 7-8 Let's Keep an seven, eye on that clock. Eight. That's going to come in to mean a huge amount in this semi-final. There's an enormous amount of money at stake here. So lots of pressure all round. That is unbelievable reach on the forehand side. And Feng Chan Wei, well, she may well be thanking her lucky stars here because that was a powerful forehand from, uh, from uh, Shun Yao. Yes, Fong Tian Wei, she, she lunged over wide to the forehand and played that beautiful winner down the line. Big point. Big point. 10-7. Fong Tian Wei and of course Michael Mays will be delighted to see his uh, 
I, I'd almost call her a protege, but she's not really that, is she? But certainly as a team member, let's leave it at that. That is a lovely backhand too. It's still 8-10. In this uh, in T2 form format, we're only playing to 11. We're not playing to two points different. So whoever gets first to 11 is, uh, is going to win it. And now it's pressure here on the, on the server. Shun Yao. 8-10, two game points. And ooh, she went for broke and missed it. 9-10, but there's still... In, in effect, two game points to come because one on this one on the serve and a timeout is one called minute. and it looks like it's uh, Michael Mays who's called it. He wants to secure this game. It's he fight. does, because otherwise uh, Fung Tengue will be 2-0 down. Yes, so uh, and so the ideal attack. opportunity okay. to speak to his First player and give us some tactics. And I think Look what he what just said do. there Not was to, to play into she's middle, the into the body. The she is difficult to, to follow. Come on. Ale, come on. Hi. Oh, this is absolutely vital. We've had a timeout, so uh, and that one minute Nine. is, uh, it could prove vital. We shall see. This point is still going to be started by Xi Junyao. 9-10, game point. That's it, it's 11 9, and you have to say, Jill, that was a brilliant timeout. That certainly was. Mays caused it well, called it well there. He got his player, and there she's won that second game. And now it's given her time to bring her experience to bear. That's really, really impressive. Let's hear what he's got to say this time. Can step around. If she serves this one, and then this one from forehand when you can play straight, she's a little bit, not only here, this is the only thing. But most important, you're aggressive. Pass leg, and she's not there. Yes. Well, we've seen lots of Feng Chen Wei in this part of the world, down in Southeast Asia, and Singapore obviously in particular. She has been at the highest, highest level in terms of uh, the hero worshipping, you have to say, by the Singapore fans and public in general, having reached the heights. She's also had the disappointments as well. Xi Jun Yao has probably never had too many disappointments in her life, but let's see how she copes with this one all now. Very little time left in this semi final. That's the first one. And already you see Feng Tian Wei pumping the air. She's really excited about this. Yeah, she knows she's got to get off to a good start. Let's love one. Oh, off the tape again, so a little bit unlucky that for Fun Jamway. One all, but uh, of course they all count. 10 minutes and 21 seconds left. This game could be absolutely vital to the outcome. Uh -huh. A little stamp of frustration there for uh, Shun Yao. That's the first time we've seen any emotion. Indeed. Oh, and another one there, getting too anxious to kill. There is a little bit of uh, anxiety there. She was annoyed to lose the second game, of course. Won the World Junior Championship in November 2016. So last year, she was the junior winner of the world. Let's see whether or not... Oh, OK, it's 2-3. See whether or not she's got the, the, the metal and the determination and the quality, the talent to overcome this very special player, Tian Wei. 2-3. Oh, there. He said that they don't spin the ball, huh? Wow. Unbelievable. Look at that from below the height of the table. Excellent. Yeah, there's a lot of spin on that. She took it a bit later. And, and a lot of spin on that forehand topspin. 
great shot from under the height of the table. Two, four, two. And that is now really, really impressive. An experience, perhaps, can tell. Eight minutes, 45. Keep your eye on that, ladies and gentlemen, because that is so crucial. Five, two. That is another big, big forehand. She's not... She's not scared of running around that back end a little bit to come in with the power play. Yeah, I think May's told her to try and get in with a forehand whenever possible. And she did there, run around the back end and good placement into the middle. Good service though. Nice serve, just that little push. She knows that receiving the serve really vital here at 3-6. Just a little bit of breathing space. Fantastic rally. Wow, it was a long serve as well. She thought that she was going to be successful with that. But this is this is the best of Feng Tian Wei. She can really, really match it with the fantastic exchanges. Yeah, it's great rally there. Fast and furious, that's what we like to see. Backhand not quite as successful, but she's still got a handy lead here and the service, and that's important. 7-4. Yeah, that was set up beautifully, wasn't it? Yeah, great service there, and she ran round with a forehand from the backhand side, executed that that winner. Got a power there from Fong Tianwei. There was a huge amount on it as well, the movement, not just the speed, but it was wobbling off the table big time. Yep, nice work. Tianwei is not as successful on the backhand side. That's why she's having to use that dynamic forehand, but that's great work from the youngster. And another one for 9-5. Six minutes and 36 seconds. We said about three, perhaps four games before we enter possibly the killer, uh, kill zone. 9-5. I'm not sure what happened there. She tried to play that forehand from Tang Wei, but it just slipped off. The third shot, always the most important. But uh, she didn't get there. Oh, ho, ho. what a great shot that was for 7-9. My goodness. If you think you've got this one in the bag, wait until you, hit, you get hit by that kind of speed from the receiving. Wonderful shot. Great eye, 7 9. <laughs> Nobody wants to play except at the table. The first time they come away from the net, it's Feng Tian Wei with that extra little bit of experience. Yeah, then tried to do a little bit of short play there, push, push. Seven, but Feng Tian Wei held on. It's a big one here for game points, three of them. Feng Tian Wei. And has got it there now, 11-7. That really could be the most crucial one. There's time for another one, perhaps two games here. But Feng Chan Wei, from one game down, has come back to take the next two and has done it with a lot of lot of effective forehand play in particular. Yeah, both, uh, both players around, are trying to be good. aggressive, trying to get in to whenever short, possible. Defense, cannot, don't know, but that Feng Chan Wei, two. To one Only if you little lose concentration, then you up. make high service and then she can flip. So concentration and focus and change the serve. And then after play, Some lovely ultra cam work okay. here. Fabulous production, I have to say. I'm really, really impressed by the pictures. The atmosphere is fabulous. And I tell you, the intensity of this T2 inaugural program is brilliant. From Jamway with the service. 2 1 up in games. And now, one love in the first of the fourth game. We've got snowflakes in the background. We've got Christmas trees. We've got Christmas lights. It really is a festive atmosphere.
interestingly, they wouldn't have played that much because of the age difference between them. They're just, I think Feng Tianwei is just beginning to get the measure of her opponent, just a little bit. Yes, I don't think these two have played each other on the ITTF circuit at all. I no. think uh, it's just in T2. Yep. That's super. Again, the backhand does work this time. Right on the money into the uh, line on the forehand side of Xun uh, uh, Yao. Great work. One, two. Well, that was a bit risky putting it there because she, she's shown she's got good reach. She can get there in the split second and put pressure on. Yeah, she's very fast around the table. She, she's got very quick footwork, takes the ball early. Uh -huh. Well, this is interesting. Again, eye on the clock. If it's uh, two all in games, we could be getting a tiebreaker. We'll explain that a while in a while if it comes. That is brilliant. What a change of direction on the backhand side, and suddenly in a split second, she's onto the forehand and powers it into the corner. That was great to see. Three all, two nineteen. That long serve didn't work again. That's the second time. No, no, that's right. I think she was trying to break the break the, the game up by changing the service, but it, it didn't work. A lot of side spin on it, but ultimately comes back with interest. And another great shot. Feng Tian Wei has gone from 3-2 down to 5-3 in the lead. Three in a row, and of course, Jor Jorgen Pearson calls the timeout here because uh, Xi Jun Yao is just struggling to keep consistency. Yes, I think uh, Feng Tian Wei is, is uh, attacking the ball quite hard now and playing a lot into the middle. But we'll be interested to see what Jurgen has to say. The interesting thing here, then, uh, Jill, is that when you want to hit listen to him, okay, his Mandarin is not great. <laughs> no, but the interesting thing here is that if if Feng Tianwei wins this one, makes it 3-1, there'll be no way to come back. Even if we have the kill zone game, it's, uh, it would Five, be game over three. in another six points if she wins them. I'm, I'm sure she's absolutely aware of the situation, the scenario here. It's a must win. Beautiful work. Well played, Xi Jun Yao. And you have to say again, well done for the timeout call. If you win the next point, you've done your job. Yeah, not much emotion. Just a little squeeze of the fist. Oh. Yeah. No wonder she's annoyed with that. Michael May celebrates. It comes back to Xun Yao. What can she do to upset Feng Chen Wei? Well, she's got to use her serves now and try and get in with a strong third ball, if possible. Okay. Five, six. Well, it's staying tight. 56 seconds left. That's going to prove very, very important. Because if she's in the lead, when we go down to 24, there you go. The, every point, unbelievably important. Uh-oh, six all. Oh, 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 watch out. We could be in for a, a first match tie break. This is huge now. Six. Every point. Oh. Winnie there looking on, watching the clock. It's been stopped. Now it'll go again. 34 and counting down. Oh. Well played, Shi Jun Yao. 30 29, and she's in the lead. Picked up three hugely important points. 
So this service now is in, important for Fung Tang Wei. 17 seconds. She's made it. It's 7 all. Watch out again. Count down with us, all of you at home. You know the importance. 7 all. The service is absolutely vital. Xi Jun Yao must win, must win. And it's gone. It's 7 all. And that means that Fung Tian Wei. Point. Sudden death Seven point. All. One point. One point. One point is the sudden death for this game. If if Xi Jun Yao wins it, we'll then go to a tie breaking first to eleven. So really, really important here. Fung Tian Wei has won the first semi-final in spectacular style and again the T2 format has come to present with us absolutely brilliant entertainment, absolutely stunning work. The youngster Xi Jun Yao from Wu Xi has not managed to overcome the old campaigner and uh, I have to say a brilliant matchup. Jill, that was super fun. Oh, that was a great match. Both players playing Great forehand backhand combinations, but the experienced player came through from Tianwei. 3 1. There you go, 3 1. Michael Mays is full of smiles. I tell you what, again, it is, it is the format that's providing this. They're only playing table tennis, but the time, the timeout. The, the pressure of make time, service and, and I tell you, she will be delighted Maybe with that performance. Let's have a look now at some of the match highlights here. Take nothing away from Xi Jun Yao. She was superb. She had a few unfortunate errors, but uh, I tell you, she is uh, definitely a big competitor for the future and has got world grades coming her way, there's no question. No, definitely. She's a player for the future. The Chinese have got so many great players, but um, hopefully we will be seeing her in future tournaments. Indeed, well, Fung Tian Wei again, she had such a hard start in life. One point. Her, uh, her father died early in her career, and uh, she didn't know about it. But then, when she came to Singapore after her own illness, it was a fantastic achievement. There you go, there's the match stats. 37, 34 altogether, so she won that as that little battle as well. Oh, well, aces? Were there really six? Okay, well, and the percentages there. Uh, it's all gone down that right side, that Fung Chan Wei column. Kill shots 9 to 7 in favour of Xi Jun Yao, but I tell you what, very, very impressive. And now Fung Chan Wei with Xi Jun Yao. What an exciting uh, women's championship playoff that was. Unfortunately for Xu Xun Yao, that last point really cost her. Let's get her input on this women's championship semifinals. Today, 啊,還好吧,自己都是以拼的心態去跟對手打,所以不是特別緊張。But uh, the journey is not over for Shi Xun Yao because she will be playing the team championships as well for team person. So not all is lost yet. However, let's speak to Feng Tianwei where history repeated itself only this time victory was so much sweeter for her as she books her spot to the final. 你踏入這個世強呢,其實這個 呃,不容易,真的。Feng Tianwei gives credit to her opponent, Shi Xun Yao. She said that luck had to uh, play here in her women's championship, and this is the reason why she steps into the final. Remember, the women's championship tr uh, champion will be walking away with 40,000 US dollars, and Feng Tianwei is one step closer towards lifting the trophy. Who will join her in the finals? We'll find out next, but first, the men's championship playoff is next. <laughs>